time now for the recurve women's individual semi-final and the USA will be right behind this one. Let's go down to the range for the athlete introductions. So Ann San of Korea, three-time Olympic champion from Tokyo just a few weeks ago, out here to finish her 2021 season right on top of cloud nine, but up against a 17-year-old American who has nothing to lose on home soil and looks very determined indeed. Calfold from the USA versus Ann San from Korea. And will be the Korean to get this semi-final underway. So a lot of movement there's a big break to the right, if it went to the right. Open here. The quality of Ann Calfell might need to take advantage. Took a longer hold, but she has popped it into the 10 for a 29. And the American teenager has gone two set points to love up here in this semi final against the red hot favourite from Korea. First signs. A little bit of nerves here from Ann San in the coach. I'm happy with that. What a start from Casey Calvin. Absolutely incredible start from her. I mean, Ann San's come through here. She's qualified first with a 6.46 in pretty terrible conditions earlier in the week. She was preceded then through the first two rounds, but she did lose two points. Um, Koskan of Turkey, so she has lost points before. Let's see how she copes with it this time. She's incredibly mature for her years. Just 17 years old, Calfold, but she's in the lead here. She needs to keep her nerve. San. Is of consistency. Similar place to the first one. I just wonder whether she's putting a little bit extra through that front arm. It's just breaking a little bit to the right. Put the line. Another opportunity taken. This is not what the doctor ordered for the Korean side, but certainly keeping the home crowd very happy here. 228 from Anne, not bad at all, but Casey Calfold, the 17s, capitalized with 229, and the American leads 
four set points to nil against a triple Olympic champion. Looking pretty relaxed. You look over the other side and there seems to be some fairly strong words coming from the coach towards her athlete. Yeah, she's just got to refocus herself back into this though, isn't she? Not become too relaxed. 4-0 up is an interesting place and we see quite a lot of archers then concede some points after that when the brain perhaps switches to, you know, can I win this? Um, so she's got to stay with the process, keep doing what she's doing, not allow any future thinking. She's happy with the fact not only that she's won the set, but she's actually taken it with tens, showing that she can do it under pressure. San has to now replicate that, trailing by four set points to nil. There's a nine down at the start of the third. And San just throwing an arrow out of a bow there. Obviously, um, looked at the knock, perhaps it's probably broken. Threw it back and took another arrow. Hey. Now the opportunity is with an a 10 puts this out of reach. There's a lot of shot there. Can't afford a 10 to draw level on points. She gets a 9 for a 27. A bit, it looked a bit strained there at full draw. She did a little bit shaky, a little bit of nerves. Not blame for that, can we? She's just 17, but uh, she's afforded and Sam an opportunity to get back in the match here. She was in such a commanding position. She'll let those thoughts creep in that she should have taken advantage, but she really needs to just knuckle down. She's still leading by two and can still do this in the next three arrows. Stetson in cowboy boots. And shoulder strap. Does she not know she's in rodeo land? Set number four here. In the first semi final in the recurve women's individual. And a career trailing 4 2 to Calfold of the United States. And she's thrown down a seven here. And all of a sudden, that the sun shines more brightly for the 17 year old. has happened here. Both of them going low in the target. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. both of the first two arrows low in the target. High for the and then she's back in the middle. And this one, wow, oh, it's been a nightmare for the Korean. Nine. Manages to get it up into the nine for a 24, but that is not the score we expect. Opportunity, and it's in the 10, and Casey Calfold has done the unthinkable here and knocked out the triple Olympic champion and San of Korea. And look how happy the crowd are with that performance. Carfold's mum in the crowd, happy with that result. And it just goes to show if you can keep your confidence and your nerve, you can beat anyone. What a performance. Casey Carfold is in to the gold medal match here. In the United States of America at these World Championships.
I think he came into the match knowing that Cal Bob really had nothing to lose. She's a teenager, she could just go for it. But she shows such maturity for it, such uh, a young age. Yes, she really does. And the positivity and energy she shows in the line as well, even when things weren't going well for her, you know, she came back with a smile. So, wow, I think that's probably the biggest upset of the entire tournament for Ansan to be knocked out in that.